have four hobby boxes of Bowman baseball. That is one auto per box. And that's one of two breaks scrolling at the bottom of your screen. But once we show that first hit, that's it. And we'll be on to the next break that we're trying to fill, this eight-box baseball break that's also scrolling there. All right, we've got a insane markdown. All right, you could get any of these boxes at a significant discount. I'm talking like three-figure discounts off of these boxes. And if you bought all three, you could probably save, I think it came out to like about nine and change, 900, almost a thousand dollars cheaper than the going rate. So Cubs and Padres, you got it, Richard. Don't forget, it is 10% off three teams or more. Cubs and Padres. Richard Olvera, you got it. And then there were five, Diamondbacks 35, Nationals 45, Indians 50, Rockies 35, and the Marlins 50. And uh, also football side, we're trying to do this uh, random division break. This is kind of all killer, no filler here. We'll see how that goes. You got a Jumbo Leaf Metal Draft and two Onyx Vintage Football. So 14 autographs, only two base cards. So um, we'll see what happens there. You know, everybody always gets something. Ouch. That's about as close as I'll run something without knowing that, you know, whether every division will get a hit. Or a card, not a hit, a card. Um, but we always have good good backup stuff ready in case that 0.001% of breaks where a team actually doesn't get something, still get something. Um, so that's, that's 75 bucks for a random division, and I'll run it with six. We got two already. So I just need four more. All right, Daddy. nothing to it but to do it. Let's get it started. 2021 Bowman, again, if you are you keeping or dropping, let me know ASAP because if we have 12 teams by the end of the night, then there will be a second part, okay? I'd love there to be a second part. Good luck, everybody. As we take a look into the future of Major League Baseball. And some of the present, you know. So, a lot of sports news today, as we like to not only open up cards here, but talk about some of the latest goings on. Where, where the heck do I begin? 
Um, at the beginning. <laughs> at the beginning? I don't know. That sounds like too controversial a topic. <laughs> so, LeBron James and the Lakers. Where's the LeBron James that's able to lift whole teams on his shoulders? Exiting the arena with, what, five minutes left? I mean, yeah, they probably weren't going to be able to come back. Maybe they could have made it a little bit more respectable than a 30-point loss. Um... Well, supporting cast wasn't as strong in that one. That's what happens when you got super teams and people get hurt, I guess. But still, kind of a, I don't know, bad example. I know if, uh, you know, having a rough game and my kid left the basketball court with time left in the game and not with her teammates um, I have a huge problem with that so maybe maybe what the NBA needs to do is hire LeBron James's mommy <laughs> or, or have some sort of a, ha have some sort of a, like Respect. LeBron guardian he needs to show some because, you know, LeBron asks for a lot of things, but he doesn't really, he doesn't really give it. What? And, and respect is one of those things. Davey Garcia. Get out of this area. I mean, I know one of the popular debates in sports is who's better. And it's usually LeBron and Michael that are the two. Kobe gets thrown in there. Didn't he die? Didn't one of them die? Kobe did, yes. Kobe passed away. Uh, He's the one that died in the plane crash. Yeah, helicopter crash, yes. Yeah, that's it. Bobby Witt Jr. Alexander Ramirez. And, you know, the Orioles prospects uh, looking pretty good. Maybe they should just, like, flip-flop some of the team, you know? Send some of these other guys down in the minors. I mean, they're they're going down like a ton of bricks. But then again, some of these guys are only an A-ball, so that might not be the best idea either. Then you ruin their development. But uh, Adley Rutschman, uh, you know, he, it was looking like a slow start for him. But when you looked at the numbers, I mean, the guy was batting, like, I think 200 at the beginning of last week. But his on-base percentage was, like, 400. The guy's already got 22 walks in, like, a month. Remember, their season started a month later. And then he went on a tear this week. Now he's batting close to 300. So... You know, now all of a sudden, like, oh, wow, he's batting 300 and his on-base percentage is, like, 450. Um, I, I would say that's a good May. Maybe. Oh, good pickup on the Padres there. So you got something for starters. Got Robert Hassel with a refractor 327 out of 499. Again, there are still five teams available, but only until I show the first hit. Uh, Evan White, rookie there. Tavares, Chisholm, Casey Mize. More Mize. The number eight prospect on the top 100 Bowman list. Jake Cronenworth, who seems to be in a little bit of a slump lately. There's Acuna. Bless you. Maximo Acosta. Now we're just getting started. Ooh. 
Riley Green, 29 on the list. Tiger's got a few names on there. Torkelson. I think technically Tariq Skubal's on the list too, right? They got some names. Jose Tena for Cleveland, because Cleveland rocks. I think Cleveland is also still available. Just saying. Oops, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. I just mixed up my piles. <laughs> the stuff that I got to sleeve later. Alex Kirilov, Marco Luciano, Jason Dominguez in Chrome. That looks pretty nicely centered, too. Uh, I think HGA and SGC are going to be taking on the duties of uh, the lower level grading now. Which is good, because I think it's good that, that there's a niche for everybody. The way I see it is if everybody wants to grade only their high stuff, high grade, uh, their um, high value cards with PSA and BGS, then that frees up that other market on the you know lower level rookie cards and things like that. Um, that actually works better for everybody because then those two companies don't get backlogged on small stuff and these other companies get the opportunity to thrive. Um, how's about the WWE news today? That totally, like there's some things that you can see coming and a lot of the releases you can kind of see coming. Some of them you can see a mile away and others it's like, ah, I get that. Um, you know, there were some surprises in there obviously, but today's wave, I just don't get it. What are they doing? <laughs> Here's, here's some of the names if you haven't uh, seen this already, this story. So you got Braun Strowman, who one second, he's like the, um, and I mean, this is like the stereotypical. There is food in this. Stereotypical Vince McMahon big guy, right? This is, this is the kind of guy. And it's not like he's like an attitude case that, you know, to my knowledge, um, I, I've actually thought he's always had a very positive attitude backstage. Um, and, you know, all of a sudden he's gone. Diamondbacks, you got it. Um, let me let me check that out real quick. So, Lexi. All right, you had two teams, that's, so that's nine. So it's a total of 12.50 off. So Diamondbacks will cost you 22.50. All right, 22.50, putting in the discount for all three teams. Lex! So Diamondbacks are now off the list. Can you go get Lexi? Um, and then get ready for soccer later. You gotta be dressed in a little bit. No, Lexi, we need you. Mom needs you. And oh, I was opening the train. So still a few teams left. Nationals 45, Indians 50. Rockies 35, Marlins 50. Again, a, a possible second Bowman break. And the eight box baseball are uh, kind of next on the on the list. Um, going back 
to the WWE releases. So we were just talking about one. Um, Alistair Black. They've been dropping the ball with him for a while. They're, they're finally, we're doing vignettes to bring him back. All right. He makes a pay-per-view appearance. Right? Was it pay-per-view or, or TV? I don't remember. Um, and pretty much is set up for a collision course with Big E. And then out of nowhere, there he is on the, like, what, why do you, why did you bother building him back up then? Just, like, that's ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Joe Adele, Rookie of the Year favorites. Well, he's still down in AAA trying to get his stuff together. Jonathan India. Baron Laura. We got Maximo Acosta. CJ Abrams. Dad, instead of my kiwi is like rock hard. Put it to the side. I'll eat it later. No, like, that's like this. Not the time. <laughs> yeah, good pickup on the Diamondbacks there. 37 out of 75. Yellow parallel. Corbin Carroll for the Diamondbacks. Adele, Cabrian Hayes, Matthew Liberatore. Now is he is he on Team USA? I know there is a I think there is some prospects that were I guess expected to be on the Olympic team. Some guys who were like, I don't know, semi retired or whatnot. Uh, not bad start there for the Marlins. Again, they are still available. Uh, you got Max Meyer going atomic with this atomic refractor. Again, with hobby boxes. I've, I've heard the theories that um, it's a little bit better on the uh, parallel side. And, you know, color is important. Joey Bart, Bobby Witt Jr. with the 90 Bowman throwback. Sheen Baz, Blaze Jordan. Michael Toglia, Positional Promise. Braden Shoemake, 70 out of 499 for the Bravos. Dylan Carlson. Christian Pache, Braves. Miguel Amaya. And we got the Rays talent pipeline, which includes Wander Franco and Vidal Brujan, who both of them now are at AAA. And Brent Honeywell. Um... Is he back in the majors? Or is he in AAA? I can't remember. I think he's in AAA, too. I think they're all just kind of palling around waiting. They don't need to be called up. The Rays are doing pretty good without him. <laughs> but if somebody does get injured or things start going the other direction, then 
They had a plan. What? It's a long-term plan too, right? So Nationals, 45, Indians, 50, Rockies, 35, Marlins, 50. All right, we're going to see the first autograph in this stack. Tell your sisters to get the rainbow bag down. Make sure your socks and shin guards are in there. Okay. In my hand is an autograph for one of those four teams I mentioned. Just thought I'd let you know. In my hands is an autograph for one of those four teams that I mentioned. 10% off three teams or more. So if somebody wanted to slam it down and take all four, you'd get 10% off. And once I show that card, then that's it. And we take those four teams off the board and uh, we'll leave this eight box mixer as the next break to be filled. on the injured list again I'm a bit of a, a rough start to this year a second half goes better uh, Robert Hassel so nice Alec Bohm there here comes the Bohm ready or not oh, oh, Bobby Dalback rookie Christian Pache Reed Detmers yeah, there's a nice Blaze Jordan Chrome. Yeah, that looks like it's pretty nicely centered, too. I like that one. Again, you are seeing a bit of a rise in the market for the SGC name. Um, is CSG backed up? I'm trying to, it's hard to keep track of everybody nowadays. Um, I think names like SGC and CSG that have been a part of the, either the hobby or the collectibles industry in, in general for a long time um, are going to definitely hold their value. Um, I think HGA has the potential. I think they've got the, the beginning works in place in, in a lot of cases. Um, I think their their biggest thing is going to be they're coming out of out of a complete startup. All right, every mistake that they make are gonna is gonna be scrutinized, and it's just gonna be a matter of. Um, a little bit of time seeing, you know, can they get enough of their stuff out there to to go beyond the hype and keep the relevancy? You know, if you if you can't grade anywhere near as much as everybody else, these these HGA cards are, are nice. And again, um, looking at some of the PSA tens out there, um, I don't necessarily think they do a bad job with the with the grading part. Um, obviously, again, there's subjectivity to it, and there's also uh, human error. All right. I think a lot of uh, HGA's issues on the, on the numbers has been more of, um, from my understanding, not putting the right labels in the right holders, like with multiple, like, that, that should be an easy fix, like... Should be. 
But we'll see if those con mistakes continue to be made, that's going to hurt them. But, you know, with different niches out there, there there's room in the hobby for, for all these companies. I mean, if they're all getting backed up, if they're all getting high demand, then right now in the market that we're in, um, everybody's got a shot here. All right, I'm going to Marlins and Nationals. So Steve Marone, Marlins and Nationals. And that would qualify you for the 10% off. So it would be um, 85 minus 10%, minus an, an additional 10 for the Rangers. I'll get you that number in a sec. So that would be... Seventy-six fifty. All right, seventy-six fifty. So that leaves only two teams. So Steve grabbed two. Did he pick the right ones, or is one of these two teams? in the running for a hit. Indians are 50, Rockies are 35, and uh, there's not much time left to decide. Just saying. So we got Cody Oessi, who I believe is currently ranked the number four prospect, uh, according to, what the heck was I reading? Baseball America? In the Dodgers. Uh, farm system. Justin Foscu, a first rounder from last year. Yalbert Sanchez, a little bit of a slow start. I think he's batting in the like 230-ish, 240-ish range for starters, but it's just the first month. Nick Madrigal having a good first full season. Last year, did very well in 29 games, batting about 340. Uh, okay, we're not getting that kind of production out of him just yet, but uh, I think he's hitting around 280. And uh, again, lots of positives on that White Sox team. Garrett Crochet could be another. Had a few good uh, relief outings last year. Pete Alonzo back from the injured list, coming out with a couple decent games, although uh, not resulting in a victory yesterday. Uh, many wonder, is Vidal Bruhan going to get the, the call up before Wander Franco does? I don't know. It's possible. He's had a little bit of a stronger start. In his, who do the Indians have in Bowman? I think I still have this up. Hold on. Let's see. That's Diamond Kings. Don't need that. We're completely out of those. All right. Indians in Bowman. I'll go over both teams. Um, Angel Martinez, Jose Tena, and I think the one to look for is Gabriel Arias. Not 100% sure on that. I'm trying to... It's a lot of names to remember. That's why I will openly admit I do not follow the college football stuff because that's just too many names. It's enough with minor league baseball and international top prospects and high school top prospects. Uh, um, and then Rockies have Adele Amador. Daniel Montano, Eddie Diaz, 
And then Zach Fien has a Chrome Prospect Auto, a Top 100, and a Potential Promise Auto. So, um, yeah, close enough. Seventy-five fifty. Did you say you would be able to take it or you know? Um, I might be able to. Go ahead and shower you out. Okay. But I'll come to the shower afterwards. So last call for alcohol. Actually, no, there can be more fun with that later. This salad but. is really good. It's too bad you don't like red onions. Yeah, sorry. You have corn, red onions. And feta. Tomato, feta, cilantro, lime juice. You'll take the Indians? All right, so Jeremy's taking the Indians. Anybody going to close it out and grab the Rockies? So Indians are gone, so all that leaves left is the Rockies. And what I'll do is I'm gonna I'm just gonna pull the teams off the board now. Rockies are 35. Last call to sell the breakout. Got it, thank you. So again, remaining teams for the eight box baseball break. We'll continue to scroll at the bottom of the screen. CJ Abrams, a uh, top prospect in the Padres organization, along with Robert Hassel. Uh, I'm telling you, man, the Padres are going to be a dynasty. A dynasty. As long as pitching pans out. Keone Cavaco, Brandon Marsh. Dalton Varsho is having a bit of a rough, rough start to the year. Brady Singer. Here comes the bone. I'm going to sleep that. I'll clean up a minute. Hold on. All right. And then uh, here it comes. The first hit in the break is Zach Veen and the Rockies. Team. Zach Veen and the Rockies. I guess that's now for sale. Does not look as well centered as some of the other cards I mentioned, but still think. Ed Howard. I did try. I did try to get that in somebody's hands. I really did. We can go through these a little quicker now. Box number two. You see what I mean about the whole leftover thing? Don't worry, I'm, I'm sure the other three autographs are not gonna be Rockies, right? Most likely. Um, A total of four autographs. Again, the hobby boxes. Like, we saw a couple decent uh, color parallels come out already. And what was there? One atomic or two per box? I know we saw at least one. Max Meyer. 
Becky. Don't remember if there was a second you one. You need to get dressed first. So, no. considering what chromes go for on guys like Blaze Jordan and uh, Austin Martin, so this one's not necessarily just for hits. But they help. Again, don't forget we got a football random division break that we're trying to get done. 14 autographs total in the break to divide between uh, eight divisions. $75 for a spot. You got a Leaf Metal Draft jumbo box and two boxes of Onyx Vintage. We also have the Extreme Markdown of the Day. All right, this is the Extreme Markdown Edition. <laughs> um, your cho buyer's choice. We've got a box of Optic Football. Now, there are three of these deals that will be available. That's it. I'm limiting it to three. All right. Optic Football Hobby Box can be bought for $8.49. Uh, 2020 Prism Hobby Box can be bought for $10.99. Or a 2019 Topps Chrome Baseball Box could be bought for $11.99. And if you want to get a little crazier, um, get all three for $2,999. That is about a thousand bucks, almost less than the going rate. Literally, just a dump it out and you just put it in there. Jason Dominguez, futurist. Anything Angels or Royals? Um, not no. Uh, only, you know, it's only one hit per box, but um, what came out? You know, the, the regular rookies are out for the Royals and the Angels. Adele had um, at least one insert, maybe two. Trying to think. So one or two insert rookies for Adele as well. And there's another base. All about that base. About that base. Reek of onions. Yeah. Okay, Brian Hayes. Vidal Bruhan. Jake Vogel, first Bowman. Arenado, 99 out of 299. Fuchsia parallel. Uh, as soon as I'm done with this break, I'm, I'm heading for a softball game. <laughs> Jared Kelly. First Bowman, White Sox, Atomic Refractor. Chris Bubick, Mackenzie Gore. Actually, he's struggling a bit this spring, too. We may not see him for a little while, especially as long as the... Uh, Padres can do all right without him, right? Junior Severino, first Bowman Chrome. Joey Bart. Nate Pearson. Brett Beatty, positional promise. You know who's looking real good his first month in the minors is, um, and this team needs all the hope they can get because they can't even get base running right. Our um, other other players base running right is the Pirates. Um, they got a kid in their system. Uh, Carmen Lazinski has a sub one ERA for the month of May. Garrett Mitchell for the Brewers, also looking good in his 
um, open to this season. And oh, look, another hassle. This time we got a, I guess is a pink or fuchsia. I don't know, whatever the heck this is. It is pretty. Um, 102 out of 199, Robert Hassel. With Hasselhoff? Minus the Hoff, yes. So just like that, but not. He's Hoffless. He's no trouble. He's just a hassle. There you go, Padres. Padre. That's Padre. Becky told you. Yes. Shower. She's gonna do Play-Doh. All the things. Next deck. Uh, what time does she have to be there? 2.30? I can take it. Okay. I just don't think I'm going to get a shower. Before that, I'm going to be dirty. They're not going to get out of the car. these turkey balls are good. Turkey balls? No, they didn't have the regular ones, but I wanted to do this today. I think you mean turkey meatballs. Yeah, turkey balls. Oh, they're less points by a lot, so that's good. Just something wrong sounding about the other way you phrase that. Especially if you follow it up with a turkey noise. I wasn't following it with any noise. Weirdo. <laughs> I do have problems. Josiah Gray. I got plenty of Nutella. Becky, did you get the rainbow bag now? Um, no. Ryan Mountcastle. Corbin Carroll. Heston Sherstad. Again, Rutschman. Westberg and uh, I believe Jerstad too. Um, all starting off nice. Sometimes the start dictates the finish, so hopefully they have strong seasons and put themselves into contention for you know major league call ups soon. Mount Castle, I think, started off with a little bit of a struggle, but it's early. This works both ways. The end product is is what matters most. So if you start hot, finish hot. If you start slow, then uh, you gotta play catch up. Where's your soccer ball? Do you know who Clark is? Um, no. It doesn't matter. Brennan Davis. Bobby Witt Jr. We'll give him a little uh, one, cent love. one cent love. He he had a game the other night. Um, he was a part of a back to back to back home run onslaught. Had some um, good fielding to follow it up. All right, well balanced player, and then he hit two more home runs. So a three home run day for him the other night. And his teammate, um, oh gosh, which one is it? The one, the one. 
The one with the thing. Yeah, the one with the nine home runs and is one of the top uh, home run hitters in the minor leagues for May. He's a home run hitter. I don't remember what his name is because I'm drawing a blank. I can only retain so much stuff. And there's some Pirates prospects. None of them Wadzinski, though. As expected because this was the last stack of packs. So. so almost to the halfway point of this break. And we got two more boxes to burn through after this one. Fernando Tatis with the throwback. Who's that? Fernando Tatis is probably one of the top five guys to watch right now in baseball. Plays for the Padres. Do you want to watch baseball? His, his dad used to play for, for a bunch of teams, including the Mets. I don't think we'll ever see him in a Mets uniform since he just signed like a massive contract extension. I forget, what was it, 10 years, 335 million? So, Robert Hassel, Nick Gonzalez. Um, Lexi wants to ride with me. Okay. Okay. Becky, who are you going with? You. Okay, so you're just going up by yourself, Marcella. I will go up by myself then. Christopher Morrell. And Becky has to be at soccer at six. Gabby has to be picked up from school at six. And Ellie has to get picked up whenever she gets back. Mommy, I want you to take me to soccer. Alec Baum. I am taking you on Sunday, on Saturday. And I think Grammy's coming to the game. Antonio Gomez. Google. Tristan McKenzie, who, uh, you know, it's, it's like there's just, there's flashes of what, what can be. Um, and you look at a lot of great pitchers, and, and, you know, they had some inconsistency in the beginning of the career. You have inconsistency. Maddox, Glavin, Smoltz. So I, I think I think he's shown some things where he's got he's got a big future ahead. There's an, a paper Austin Martin. Uh, what do you strike out? Eight batters in a row? Ellie, where are your slides? Unfortunately, he had one bad inning that he gave up five runs and got beat up pretty good. But uh, other than that, I mean, ten strikeouts over five, you know, he was going to probably get sent down again either way. Uh, Daddy, look at it. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, this this is delicious looking, right? Who's hungry? It's not ice cream, it's Play-Doh. Oh, tastes like turkey balls. Astros! Luis Santana! Nine out of 100, Atomic Refractor Auto. So Astros, Luis Santana, out of 100. Not bad when the like cheapest team that has the least to offer hits something decent, right? It can happen. That's why we try to sell them all out. <laughs> Francisco Alvarez, Jason Dominguez, Kalanick struggling a little bit. A little bit. It's bad, like a buck and change right now. A little bit. A lot of bit. Thank you. Sure. All right, what do you got here? Box number three coming up. It's going to keep tipping over until I put more sleeves in it. So I'm going to keep doing that. No. How do you get in? That is you. For life. Number three. So again, anybody who knows, um, you know, whether they're going to keep or drop, ASAP, just send me a message on Messenger. So that way it helps me out when I construct the post for the next half. I might not be able to do it right away because I might be... Uh, having to run uh, to Ellie's game like immediately following this but we'll see so I might not get to post it till closer to 4 o'clock but Austin Hendrick. Riley Green. Austin Martin with another paper. For the Blue Jays. Now we got to pop that chrome out. Emerson Hancock. Jose Tana. Jason Dominguez. <clears throat> De La Rosa Adley Rutschman
Wander Franco. And what is it? Taylor Trammell got called up when Kyle Lewis went down. 292 out of 499. Went down with injury, not demoted. Brandon Marsh for the Angels. Atomic Refractor. It's a little OC, but... Joey Bart. Nate Pearson. Jared Kellenick. Throwback. Asa Lacey. I wonder if he listens to Asa Basie. Jaron Duran, 59 out of 99 for the Red Sox. What do they call this one? I don't know. It's green and it's sparkly. Bryson Stock, who uh, talking about him yesterday, just got promoted to Double A ball, so I guess I won't be seeing him uh, with the blue claws at all. Quick promotion, good for him. Yelbert Sanchez, you're gonna probably see a lot of quick promotions, especially guys on the college side of uh, things when they were drafted in 2019, or even or even 2020. Because, again, that still impacted uh, rookie ball, which doesn't really exist anymore, does it? All these uh, Gulf Coast League teams and stuff like that, no more. It's just low A, high A, double A, triple A. Looking to set the game plan for tonight based on uh, a couple things, including the response for another round of Bowman boxes. Again, remember, you know, we ship all cards, and, and the reason being is, you know, those rookie cards in those first Bowman chromes, um, over time, have shown some great increases. Uh, some of them. And, you know, if you add things up together, you know, a lot of teams don't do too bad even without getting a hit. A key parallel is usually uh, a plus in this. There's another nice chrome car coming out. Bobby Dalbeck, Piché, Julio Rodriguez, Hassel, Antonio Gomez. Kyber Ruiz, Luis Patino. Um, so he just got off the injured list. He's uh, with the Rays now. He was part of the Blake Snell deal. Um, kind of been in their bullpen for the first part of the season. And he just got sent back down to AAA. So I don't know. They might be looking, I guess, with the maybe with the rest that he's had, maybe trying to stretch him back out as a starter. I'm not really sure. Um, that makes sense to me, though. 
Blaze Jordan. I think this is the second chrome of his we got. It. So that's not bad. For the Red Sox. Sixty six out of one fifty, Jackson Rutledge. Oh yes, this is oh yes, we can get you. Jason Dominguez. DL Hall. Jordan Adams. Sabato. Evan White. Man, all the all those uh, high quality uh, prospects in the Rangers system. They're struggling this spring. First month was a little rough. All of them. Anderson Tejada, Leody Tavares, Luis Angel Acuno, Shirt and Apostle. I think they're all batting under the Mendoza line. I don't think that's going to stay for long that way, but that's got to be a very, very early concern that pretty much. Every major prospect you have has kind of crapped the bat a little bit in uh, in the first month of uh, of their season. Just a little concerning. Zach Veen, who we saw an autograph of earlier, number fifty four on the list. Bryce Jarvis, Maximo Acosta. All right, another one to keep track of in the Rangers organization. I know, I know. I don't know how his start's doing. He might, he might still be in expend, extended spring training, for all I know. Nick Gonzalez for the Pirates. You got that canary yellow on a paper. Crow would have been nicer, but... Hey, we get what we get. We don't get upset. So Nick Gonzalez. That's what you gotta tell the kids anyway. What's Nick Gonzalez? Nick Gonzalez is a shortstop prospect. He was drafted in the first round in 2020. Seventh overall. Just ahead of Zach Vee. Ryan Mountcastle. I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> Got Rutschman there with a chrome. Junior Severino, first mm -hmm. Bowman. Joe Adele again. Brian Hayes again. Austin Hendrick. Stack of packs here. Autograph should be in this. another color parallel. Again, you know, a lot of people say that the color parallels come out just a just a bit more frequently in the uh, hobby boxes. Well, so far we're going to be at two out of three. So, and the one that wasn't, that one wasn't bad. So, Castle. 
Nolan Jones. I think he's struggling a little bit. Alexander Ramirez. Nate Pearson. Rookie of the Year favorites. I want to grab stuff a few more times. Just suggesting. Here comes the bomb. Sixto Sanchez. Ellie, we have to go. Brett Beatty. Spencer Torkelson. We're leaving. I told you three times. You have water and two snacks on the table. Where are you going? And the number six pick in last year's draft. Number 98 out of 150. So we got blue parallel for the Mariners. Emerson Hancock. 98 out of 150. Hey, good luck, kiddo. Let's... Let's hit another one deep, okay? Since everybody missed it the first time, you just got to do it again and again until the point's made, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mick Abel. I don't know who that is. Mick Abel? He's a Phillies prospect. All right, the fourth and final box. Don't let her actually lick the play out because that's just going to... Ellie, want some pasta ice cream? Um, Ellie, want some pasta ice cream? You got to make your bus, kid. I know. I'm Jump on it. Make sure that nobody goes in my room. Yeah, they are. Yeah. But only to go Why do you see a fluffy snack? Again, this is the final box of this break.
All right, Ryan Mountcastle. Austin Hendrick. Joe Adele. Forrest Whitley. Jordan Groshen's a name that we kind of uh, maybe forgotten about between his injury and no minor league system last year. So he definitely has to make up for long, lost time there. Um, uh, a top prospect in the Pirates system, Leover Piguero with an Atomic. Little off center there. I mean, PSA might still give that a 10. Daddy. Yo. Juan Soto. Throwback. Mm -hmm. Zach Veen. Joey Bart. Nate yes. Pearson. Uh, Francisco Alvarez. First Bowman, Antonio Gomez. Six out of 125 for the Yankees. Always good to get, a, again, a nice color parallel like that. I guess we're just uh, looking at what we've got over four boxes so far. I, I would say we kind of fueled that notion about little bit of an uptick in in parallels um, as far as hobby boxes go. Mackenzie Gore, number five on the top hundred. Julio Rodriguez. Emerson Hancock. Antonio Sabato, Chrome. Again, the top twin to look out for in this year's Bowman product. There we go. That's a decent pack right there. Second stack of this box. Yeah, just like how I kind of open these uh, boxes in stacks of three. Um, that's what we're looking to do with this case. So if you know whether or not you are keeping or dropping, just let me know. ASAP so that I can uh, get another post up and uh, hey, maybe we can rip a couple breaks tonight. Can one be with me for a wrestling break? Uh, I don't have a wrestling break up right now, sweetie. Sorry. Can we do it in a couple of days? Um, I don't know. I got to put something together. We'll see. Yolbert Sanchez. Got Mountcastle. Oops. Riley Green. Andrew Vaughn, who again, quick, uh, quick trip to the show, but 
that's that's what you're gonna see nowadays. A first round college pick did not have a minor league season. They they don't get any younger, especially when they're drafted at 22, 23 years old. If they're capable, get them out there. You know that borderline. Let's be let's be careful thing. Yeah, you can do that when you haven't already lost a year. Some of these kids are, are ready to play at age 19, 20 nowadays, so go for it. I love you, Dad. Love you too, sweetie. Davey Garcia, one out of 150, blue paper. George Kirby, 58 out of 250 for the Mariners. Andrew Vaughn again, this time 118 out of 150 for the White Sox. Wander Franco with the throwback card. And Austin Martin with a chrome. Eddie Diaz, Dylan Carlson, you kind of slow down a little bit. Still having a, a good start to the year though, I would say. Baseball's a streaky game. Ooh, I like this. This might be better than the... Well, I don't know. It's an insert. Uh, it might be better than the hit. I don't know. That is the most glorious Zach Veen I've ever seen. No, I'm kidding. It's not. Is the autograph. Did we pull a fourth one already and I missed it? No. Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's see what happens. There's not another thick card in here. That explains it. Okay. What? Well, we'll have to show that off last. Uh, 
Who could it be? Cody Daddy. Bellinger. No, I did not. Spencer Torkelson. Christian Pache. Jared Kelnick. Sixto Sanchez, well according to Becky, I already told everyone who it was. I didn't say that. I said, did you just? <laughs> so we got Julio Rodriguez there. And that's Austin Martin. Bowman Top 100, number 20. Numbered 14 out of 50. Austin Martin. Could he be the redemption? I don't know. But that's a nice card. I'll tell you what. After Becky said, did you tell them who it was? I have a little secret. I told you who it was, but you didn't know it. Bam! After you said it. And you're saying, wait, you told us? Well, it was the next game name that I said. Were you listening? You didn't say Austin Martin. Sorry. That's still a nice card number to 50 there, right? So does anybody remember what name I said immediately after telling Becky that I did not tell you who it was? Because that was actually me telling you who it was. It was an insert card. So we got a redemption card for his Chrome Prospect Auto. Daddy, why? Spencer Torkelson. My question. You're not allowed to ask questions anymore. <laughs> not true. So how is that? Again, it's not just about hits when you're breaking Bowman. Um, although some of these hits were nice. Um, let's take a little bit of a recap. We'll mention some honorable mentions here. Like this Nick Gonzalez. You know, again, it's paper to 75, but still a, a top prospect people are looking for. And in good condition. So that's the key. It's well-centered. All right. You, you want to see stuff like that. Um, how about, I believe these are hobby exclusive color. Um, Robert Hassel, numbered to 199 for the Padres, as well as numbered to 499. All right. Yeah, these, these aren't first Bowmans, but historically, if he does end up to be, you know, a big star, um, PSA graded cards like that have done very well. Drop it all. So I had a couple Chrome Blaze Jordans and Jaron Duran to 99 for the Red Sox. And a Paper Blaze. Uh, Diamondbacks got this nice Corbin Carroll, number to 75. Max Meyer. 
Atomic for the Marlins. Austin Martin had some paper, a chrome, and this gold, number to 50, top 100. Astros, Luis Santana, number to 100 with an atomic auto. Yankees, Antonio Gomez, number to 125, first Bowman. You got it. Thank you, Lester. Zach Veen, Rockies. Emerson Hancock, Mariners, number to 150. So four boxes, two color parallel autos. Not bad. And then the, the two other autos that were base were Zach Veen and Spencer Torkelson. So all in all, uh, not a bad bunch there, along with everything else that comes with. So, anybody got anything for me right now? Again, uh, I got Steve dropping, Lester dropping. Again, we got to we got to have 12 in order to run another installment. Yeah, I can do that. I need to open up some more top loaders too while I'm at it. Not have them here, man. I'm digging mine on the back. I'm gonna go back there anyway. So. Oh wow, that's definitely uh, lots of colors put it's together. With chocolate straw. No, I don't. I don't. I'm gonna. So again, me. anybody else got anything for me right now? So uh, I guess we'll end it on this note. Um, I'll try to get the Bowman up as soon as possible, but I got to get going to a game in a few minutes. So, yeah, we were talking about the releases uh, at, at the uh, Open here. And, uh, man, you know, Braun Strowman, not expected. Alistair Black, not expected. Ruby Riot. I can see that. Not because she necessarily deserves it, but because they've totally misused her always. You know? Like, for a long time. At least Alistair Black can still remember when he was NXT champion, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, uh, that one, I was surprised they got rid of Santana because I don't think she, you know, and being an NXT, I don't think she's a, uh, a, a big strain on the budget and, and had some talent, but whatever. Um, it's not like you have to be talented to wrestle in WWE. Not saying that they're not, but some of them aren't. And we'll just bring apart. You know, an e bring bring upon us an evolution of garbage. I don't know. Anyways, so uh, I don't know. Becky wants me to set up a wrestling break, so I'll, I'll try to put something together. We just gotta then fill it. So try to keep it small. All right. So uh, hit me up on Messenger, and we'll rip you new ones soon. Take care.